It is often claimed that the Apollo missions were impossible due to the Van Allen belts, but the reality is more complex. In 1958, the Explorer 1 satellite revealed, thanks to James Van Allen, that the Earth's magnetic field traps solar particles in radiation zones around the planet. This discovery led to the identification of the Van Allen belts. There are three, the inner belt, the outer belt, and occasionally an intermediate belt, that appears during periods of intense solar activity. These regions are densely populated with high-energy protons and electrons. Because of their high energy, these particles can damage DNA, trigger cellular mutations, and increase cancer risk. Short-term exposure to high doses allows the body time for recovery. However, prolonged exposure, even at low levels, poses significant health risks. To navigate these belts, the Apollo missions followed a carefully planned trajectory, swiftly crossing the inner belt while avoiding the most intense radiation zones. They were also launched during periods of low solar activity, which reduced the risks. The astronauts wore dosimeters to measure radiation exposure. Apollo 14 recorded a radiation dose of 1.15 rad, one of the highest among the Apollo missions, yet still within acceptable limits for human exposure. Thus, while the Van Allen belts posed a challenge, they did not prevent the Apollo missions. Rather, they were a crucial factor in mission planning and astronaut safety.